hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is anita makogu and if you're new here please like share and subscribe and in today's video i'll be showing you a tour of some art studio we visited and art galleries and some pieces that we saw that were very flattering uh -uh. Is it from the, from the <laughs> so this is an artwork wow. very incredible <laughs> some really nice pictures and this is how they look for more please um follow me on instagram so these are just videos of me feeling myself after i made my new air to go to the art studio tomorrow the next day <laughs> they will tell you that okay american american market is good american market is good i've shown my works in almost all the states well 20 states like in the us and the response is not as Good as what I get here. <laughs> the number one thing I would get in America is that if you're going to show your work, you got to be registered with the gallery, and the gallery will represent you. And when your work is sold, you get 50%. The gallery takes 50%. And the response is not as good as what I get here. <laughs> the number one thing I would get in America is that if you're going to show your work, you got to be registered with the gallery and the guy will represent you so guys we're here at the super bowler art studio located in ife modomo estate and if you don't know where ife is ife is in Oshun state so this is how the gallery looks like and you just heard the owner of the gallery speak and that is dr popo ola so when we first came because um we missed the bus because of lola which <laughs> she was late as usual so we had to um, find the oh, direction to get here on our own and when we got to the estate and the clothes where the studio is located i was like which kind of house be this one because <laughs> i was like ah, the person that did this house tried though now wow so it was the owner of the studio's house and it has a really nice graphic picture on it so this foot footprint is really nice and is artwork focuses more on metals and it uses metals to create sculptures of things yeah so there are different things yeah this is a serpent there is a chicken there is a bull and different different other things made from scrap metal materials Inspired by worth, I desire your worst, so you can just hide while I work. I ain't tired, you first. I'll write a second, third verse about the lies you go disperse. You never did, sh I know it hurts. But something deep inside won't let me quit. I swear that I'm inspired by all the So at this point, it's showing us um, a little snippet of how he carves out. Um, Things from metals and yeah is making a caricature head of but but Sunday of black vision ng who is like the leader of this um tourism group and he was so kind enough to invite us to this so he got a metal head I'll insert a picture of what the um, results looked like. He went further to carve out um, little ads with people's name inscribed in it. And yeah, some people got their name written in little ads there. 
and this is the one you made for Black Boy. So when we were about to leave, we got this um, really cute mugs from Dots and Popola. Look how cute they are! And we also got breakfast, which was this little hot puff puff. Dots and Popola's artworks are really, really incredible and I'm sure you've seen that by now so yeah we are about to leave and I took some really nice pictures which I would insert yeah we took a picture with Dutton Popola and then there's a picture of us that's me and Lola which you probably know are more as Uche OKK and look at us looking so cute and yeah it's just a really short video of us in the bus and yeah we were heading to the Olumiri Erei Jesha waterfall but yeah, if you've not watched that video, please watch it. I'm going to leave a link to my Airy Jesha Waterfall vlog in the description box below. So please check it out. And yeah, yeah, we are at the Oni of Ifes Palace. As I was getting back from um, Airy Jesha Waterfall, we went to the Oni of Ifes Palace. And this is how we look like. So if you guys know Ife, you know it's synonymous with Odudua, who is, a, who is um, known as the founder of the people of Ife, the founder of the Yoruba people. And Odudua has like different origin stories. Some say he came from Arab, Egypt, some others say it was from the sky that he came with Obatala and then they spread um, sand through a chicken and that's how they created the earth. They have really different origin story of the people of Ife and Odudua. You guys, we went to the Oni of Ife's palace and unfortunately it wasn't around. But let me tell you guys something. We went to um, the Oni of Ife's palace and there was this area where they call Ile Ashe and they said that whenever you pray, whatever you pray for, you will receive in that house of prayer. That is the Ile Ashe. And we were not allowed to go in there with our phone so we could not make a video there and if you were on your period you could not enter the place so it is just it is just somehow it is giving yoruba movie yoruba movie vibe then they went in there and then the narrator was speaking in yoruba about um things that happened there like how the place came to be but yeah is i don't know what this place is i think it was the meeting place or something yeah i could not understand yoruba so i really did not grab most of the things they were saying Okay, let me also add that in the Ile Ashe, you could not um, step in without, with your slippers, you would um, enter barefooted. Also, we were also shown um, some, I don't know what if it was grave, we were shown some graves, I think, some graves and um, places that held um, past Oni of Ife. So we saw some pictures of them with um, some European people and it was really nice because as a student of history and then you're seeing like uh, all those type of things it was like wow so this actually did happen you know so that's just how it went this is the fire man so the previous clip just showed um, a representation of Obatala and Odudua. Obatala he was drunk with wine and could not carry on the assignment that was sent. So if you guys know about Ife, you probably know about their really tight connection to Odudua and their mythology that Ife is the cradle of African human civilization. So apparently they believe in history in, and in some cases that um, Ife has housed um, early, 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 early humans
So yeah, we saw Yemoja. I think she's a representation, a representative of Yemoja, which is a water goddess or something in Yoruba. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.